Hi guys, it's your girl Nikki. And it's your girl Z. And this is Whiskey, whiskey Ways. Ways. Y'all know Amateur Whiskey Series. Yep. Amateur Mixologist. You do not know what we're doing. No, we just be playing around. Mm-hmm. We like both. So we like to try different things. Yes. Alright, so the dram of the night is untitled Bourbon. Bourbon. Mm-hmm. And it is actually a store pick. From Kimbark Liquor, okay. which is a black owned liquor store on the south side of Chicago. So if you are out south, go to Kimbark, support, you know, despite the city, state, and county taxes. <laughs> <laughs> it adds up. We but don't. it's still good to support. Mm-hmm. Um, the general manager is really friendly. That helps. The, um, cashiers and all the employees are very friendly. They made me laugh and chuckle. I've never been. And all of these things. So be sure to go out there and support. Be sure. Yeah. <laughs> go out there. I don't I don't go out south too often, so you know. It's whatever. a drive sometimes. A little bit. Yeah. You know. But anyhow, this is from Eight One Distilling. It's in DC. Their whole claim to fame is that they go fresh local ingredients so grain to glass Ooh, grain to, that's when you say their, grain to glass mm-hmm. how would you uh, just you know make it up put it in a cask and right into my glass can however I? distilling works <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> they use the local corn <laughs> local rye local wheat Everything is local. (laughs) Everything is local. Not a distillery owner. I don't really know how that works completely. I I think that would explain more of the grain to me. Anywho. (laughs) It's definitely local. This has been aged for 10 years. It's 122.7%. It's on the high end. Very high. Of the proofs. Uh, (laughs) Um, the Untitled series is pretty much experimental. They get to play around, be creative, and then they be like, boom, this Very is what Asian. we blended together. Yeah. And some stores pick certain bottles, hence the Kimbark. Some will just buy what they put out. Yep. So just like any private release or single bear release, it can be hit or miss. And we're going to figure it out. You saw the scotch that we tasted. Look, if you saw a couple of episodes ago, I ain't going to name which scotch it was. <laughs> but we were sipping on cologne. So, I believe gonna, in this one. We know right. this is better, mm-hmm. especially at such a higher proof. I would say. Okay. Yeah. So, we're going to 10 years old. Yeah. Ten years. We're going to nose and we're going to sip. Yes. And we're going to let y'all know. What we think. What we think. Let's see. I want you to know this is a heavy duty bottle. Okay. It looks like it. You got a little weight to it. Yeah. I could be out here doing bicep curves. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, 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 pills it, it, pills. I don't know. It's heavy. They got some thick glass going on here. Okay. Thick. It looks heavy duty. Mm-hmm. I got to really use that grip strength. Oh, no. You pouring this. I mean, I'm, I'm just strange. trying not to drop the bottle. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's, it's some grip strength. You want more of that? Yeah. I don't know what the fuck It's about the same, ain't it? Is it? Yeah. Is it, y'all? All right. Do you? I mean, it looks okay. same to me. Okay. All right. It looks same to you, Sandra? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's try to smell. Boom. All right. Cool. So we going to smell it and see how it goes. Let's look at the lady. Want. Mm. I also 
Char four or five. Uh, it's no real telling. It's sweet. It is. It starts off smooth. The finish, surprisingly, isn't too long. I would say it's a short finish. Yeah, I'd say so too. Quite short. Well, it does have an oiliness to it. A little bit, but it's actually pretty thin for it to be aged in years. It doesn't coat, coat your, your tongue. Right. right. Hmm. But it's actually not too shabby. The more I drink of it, the more it, uh, I get that peppery taste. I really think it's probably high rye. Because for me, it, it really does have that little spice to it. Got a little kick. Like a twang. twang. Got a little kick. And I, for me, the sweetness of the prunes still covers over in the I taste. I do not taste prunes. That's why everybody's palate is different. Maybe because I'm not a prune person. Hey, I like the prunes. But uh, I do not taste the prunes. I don't eat too many because y'all know what happens when you eat too many. So I don't. But I like the snack on here and there. It, it, it does the 122 proof. It does, it sips lower than the proof. So, since, I mean, if you're not it's in the Chicago land area, I can't say that you will ever try this, but you might try another untitled. bottle yeah. of Untitled. Let us know what you think. Yeah. Let us know what flavors you get. Mm-hmm. You know, if you do stumble across this, let us know too. Right. If you like it, you're in the Chicago land, you go to Kim Bar. Let us know what you think. We're in it. All right. All right. Thanks, y'all. Cheers. Cheers. All right, guys. So the first cocktail of the night is Frisco. Super simple cocktail. Two ingredients. You can't get more simple than two ingredients. Okay? You like it really simple. Man. <laughs> okay. We're going simple and strong. Yes. <laughs> So the Frisco consists of two ounces of bourbon yes. and a half an ounce of Benedictine, which is a liqueur. It's one you. Yes, that's just one cocktail. Uh, Benedictine gives you a little honey, a little herbs. herbs. You know, a little bit of everything. I like it. It's not bad. It grows on you. Mm -hmm. The first time I was like, huh. I'm not sure. But after a while, I was like, I used it a lot. I'm sure. <laughs> Yes, I do. Z drinks more cocktails than I do, as you all should know by now. We all live in <laughs> I drink more neat. So we are going to put four ounces of, uh, bourbon, of the bourbon and one ounce of the Benedictine. Alright, I'm doing Z's going to try to use her new jigger. My handy dandy jigger here. If y'all watched a few episodes ago, she tried to give me crap for this. And then she bought one. I just want you to know. That's how much of a hater it has the she little... is, okay? While she does that, I'm going to fill this bigger half with ice. So, Frisco came about around 1930s, around the Prohibition era. Simple cocktail. So, I mean, if you're looking for something quick, easy, delicious, 
It was made with rye initially, I guess, and then switched over to bourbon when corn became more corn. readily available, right? And it okay. makes it a little sweeter. Yeah, I know bourbon a little sweeter than rye, <laughs> and corn gives it a little sweetness. Boom. That's me, I like rye Z is a rye drinker. Yes, she is. I am just a whiskey drinker. But I do prefer bourbon <laughs> of all kinds. So, if you all, uh-oh, she, she don't know what she's doing. Oh boy, that might be one and a half. No, no. This is, this is one. Mm. I'm, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Are, are you? Yeah, no, I you're drinking, y'all. No, you're drinking. I don't know. Maybe we should have used a different one. No, she ain't no, ready no, for this no, one I'm yet. Ready. Of bourbon, 
a quarter ounce of both the Benedictine and the lemon juice. Okay. So since we're making two cocktails, we'll do half, half, and four. All right. So we're going to start, of course, with the cheapest ingredient, lemon juice. Always freshly, freshly squeezed. squeezed. Because as y'all know, it is better. And while Z is pouring that in, I'm going to add some ice to this shaker. And we have chilled cocktail glasses. Yes. You know, it's always better to put a cold cocktail in a chilled glass. Okay. Right. <laughs> I don't know why she was struggling putting the cap on. Okay. It shouldn't be that hot. Anyhow. You know. <laughs> So we got the herbal, the honey, the sour. Good investment. And then we're going to put the strength of the high proof bourbon. Yes. So let me tell you, it totally changes your cocktails. It sure does. And I know I told y'all before, but I'm going to reiterate it. Oh, Lord. Your bourbon, your money, your bottle, do your business. Higher proofs make your cocktails better. Okay, you judge your mind, right? right? For one? Two for one, okay. so four for two. All right, just making sure, you know, this is... Whew. Same. Whew. And the Frisco, not for the fan of her. Use it at the end of the day. If you're starting off, use something lighter. Okay? Add the lemon, make the sound. Okay. Okay? Don't, don't go too hard at the beginning. No. You know, and Well, let, to each their own. Okay. To each their own. But right. don't say we didn't warn you, mm -hmm. okay? Because that was just unnecessary. Right, so we'll let you do this with pour your this fancy in there, ginger. Bam. Uh -huh. Close it up. And we're going to shake. Some of that music. And then shake. And then shake. And then shake. And then shake. Ah, ah, ah. 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 Y'all didn't see that leg coming in, do you? You didn't see that leg? See how it goes. Y'all know the original was a little strong. Yes. <laughs> it was. And really, I guess, as Nikki said, the higher proof bourbon they use, the stronger the cocktail. Yes. Obviously. So. And the better the cocktail. I'm not going to lie to you. The quality of the bourbon matters. Okay? Don't get me wrong. Quality does not equal price. Okay? Because there are some very low price bourbons and whiskeys in general that are really good. True. Try them. See what you like. But don't just be like, oh, this is a special occasion. Or oh, right. no is, special you know, occasion. $200 is a right. It tastes great and awesome. It's not a special occasion. Yeah, you true. can't take the whiskey with you. Go and enjoy it with your friends and your family. See how this tries. Cheers. Cheers. You don't taste as much as the lemon as I thought you would. But it still cuts it. It's still strong. Very whiskey forward cocktail. Whew. Yeah. But <coughs> I thought I would taste the lemon more. I don't. I still, uh, It's a strong cocktail. Bourbon makes a cocktail, y'all. <laughs> Let me tell you, if I made this with an 80 proof, it'd be no problems. <sighs> you know why? Because the 80 proof would be a little weak. But yeah. this is a little strong. So. This sends you home, okay? Meat in a cocktail, all right? It's no joke. Home, okay? But I like it. It's, it's good. It's still very tasty. Yes. Just. You it's just strong. feel the punch Man. of the bourbon. That bourbon came through like, yes. Okay. Hit you with uppercut. Ugh. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? So be ready for it. All yes. Right? Ready you know what I'm saying? Bob, Bob weave. weave. 
knocked out, be on your couch like this. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Mike Tyson hit you with a one two combo. <laughs> That might be it. But uh-huh. it's still delicious. It is. It is. It's good. It's a little sweet, got a little sour. And simple. One, two, three. It right. is. Three co- three ingredient cocktail. Mm-hmm. You can't beat that. Mm-mm. It's delicious. Make it with your own. If you decide to try it untitled, yeah. let us know how you liked it in the cocktail. If you try it with yeah. another bourbon or rye or scotch. You should try it with a Let us know how you liked it. Yeah. You know. If we try it with something else, we may tell you in the comments. We yeah. may not. You <laughs> might need to follow our Instagram at Whiskey Waves. Follow. Like, you know, was it? Like, like share, and share, subscribe. subscribe. We are also on IG. Yes. And I may or may not be posting a blog soon, but we will be posting cocktails sure. on Fridays. Oh, no. Look for the hashtag. hashtag. Come sit with us. Cocktail corner. Cocktail corner right. Whiskey waist. Whiskey waist. Check us out. You may see something you like. We like cocktails. I love cocktails. It's a fun stuff. Yes. For amateurs. Mm-hmm. That's right. I shimmy for you. I, <laughs> I shake it. Mine ain't that big, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I won't ask you to see the shakers. So we're going to say cheers to that. <laughs> yes. we going to sip this strong cocktail. And we will see you next time. (laughs) All right. Whiskey Waves. Like.